Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today talking about the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo, throwing another opinion into that pot. I promise you all, I will make this video as brief as humanly possible because I know there's already so much content on this game, it can get a bit oversaturated. But a lot of you have asked for my opinion on the demo, and quite honestly, I've played it three times already between packs and being at home. I really like what's there, and when I saw the amount of fan service in this demo, I was like, okay. I gotta talk about this. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and preach like Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games ever. I talk all the time about how the first time I actually played this game was on a PC in 2012, so one of the less ideal manners of experiencing the game, but I loved it to death even then. And I still encourage people to go back and play the original, even if the remake ends up being fantastic, because the original just has so much charm to it. It is the entire story, whereas a lot of people are complaining that Final Fantasy VII Remake's being, quote, split into three episodes end quote even though it's a full game for each of these episodes and the original game was actually on three discs but I digress let's not get off track here Final Fantasy 7 remake its demo really got me on board I was already excited with what I saw back at E3 but to put your hands on it and understand the systems in the game and see how well they work was really a true relief now I think back to Final Fantasy 15 I really really liked this game when it came out for its world and its characters and it looked so damn good and you see some of the similar themes from that game being carried over into the remake of 7. However, 7 has one thing that is triumphant amongst Final Fantasy 15, and that is absolutely its combat. You see, there's a blending between an action combat system as well as a turn-taking combat system. You press the square button to attack, and you can button mash your way through some of these battles, but as you land attacks or you defend attacks, your ATB gauge will build up where you can start to use spells or abilities. And Cloud has two abilities available in this demo. One is Braver, the other is Focused Thrust. On top of that, each character has different forms. So Cloud has a more tactical form where you're attacking at a more steady pace and you have access to all of your abilities. But there's also a mode called Punisher Mode where you really just go all out with your attacks, much more damage. And in this mode, if you try to block while a melee attack is coming in, you will parry and sort of keep the flow going, and it completely changes the dynamic of the gameplay, which is something I can really appreciate. Now that's just for Cloud. You can switch to Barrett. He has different abilities. He's more of a ranged, focused character, and that's where the remake starts to excel, because in Final Fantasy VII, the original game, you know how the combat worked. It's like any other strategy RPG out there. However, in this one, now because we have updated technology, you can put enemies up above on various structures and make Barrett a lot more useful because he has more ranged capability than Cloud. So there would be turrets set up and I'd switch to Barrett and I'd start targeting them with his abilities. And he has the ability to overcharge, which does insane damage. He has access to a lightning spell. And because he's able to attack certain enemies that Cloud can't, and they both have different damage outputs and access to different spells, it really makes a great dynamic in the combat system where I was flipping between both of them. I totally envisioned myself just sticking with Cloud, but I gotta say, the combat really impressed me the third time around. The first time, you're in packs, you're trying to get your feet wet here, get a feeling for everything, and finally I did in the second playthrough of the demo, but then in the third playthrough, since I was very familiar with how things worked, focusing on enemy weaknesses, filling up what is a stagger bar, the bar beneath their health, once that's full and they are staggered, you do a ton of extra damage and you can really go in with some of the abilities and do just massive damage. And at first I thought the boss fight against the Scorpion Sentinel was a little too long. It felt a little too spongy, but that was on me because during my second demo playthrough, I was not targeting weaknesses properly and staggering the enemy properly. And once I truly understood how to do that, the flow of the boss fight was incredible. It really, really felt good. But if this slice of the game is indicative of what the full product is gonna be like. And granted, we've seen this slice of the game for a long while now, since E3 2019. It's been about, what, eight months now? We've seen a lot of this part of the game, so it's probably the most polished part. I just hope it's not front-loaded because the way there were cutscenes mid-boss fight, there was a cinematic presence there. There was so much intensity building up. I really hope we continue to see that Final Fantasy VII Remake, and it's not just trying to reel you in and then coast along. I really want them to keep their foot on the gas, keep it going. I mean, Final Fantasy VII is one of the very 
best games of all time. It is absolutely one of the most powerful JRPGs ever made, one of the most influential JRPGs ever made, if not the most. So I'm hoping that they continue to give it the respect that the demo shows. Now in the terms of story delivery, I gotta say, I'm very surprised how they handled Cloud. And I don't say that in a bad way, it's more so how disconnected he is, how truly he feels like a mercenary just tagging along with this eco-terrorist group known as Avalanche, and he's just here for the paycheck. And they managed to deliver that in a way that's not as edgy anime as it really could be. And it may be because I have some bias and I think Cloud is just absolutely awesome. But once again, the back and forth between Barrett and Cloud was hilarious, especially when they're on the elevator and Barrett's doing this huge speech and you hear the Shinra music start to pick up and then Cloud tells him to get help. Like I audibly laughed each time I went through the demo and experienced that. So it seems like they have something really special on their hands and I just can't wait to see more. I tried to resist playing the demo, but eventually I was like, you know what? I gotta see if this is as amazing as I think it truly looks. And truth be told, it is. Now I did mention the Shinra music on the elevator. There are some remade tracks in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I do hope this game gives you access to the older tracks while you're going around each of the various levels because that would be so, so cool. And I don't think it'll be much of an issue because Final Fantasy XV let you ride around your car and listen to literally every single Final Fantasy track available in the entire series. But if we're stuck with those remade tracks in Final Fantasy VII, then let me tell you what, they're really good retaining the nostalgia, the familiarity of the old tracks while updating them. And I know some people didn't like some of the tracks that were remade in Final Fantasy X when they re-released that, but quite frankly, that may be the same case here with this game when we get our hands on the full product. But from what I heard between the Shimmer music and the bombing mission music, really, really big fan. One thing I absolutely need to interject though, one thing I don't like about the Final Fantasy VII Remake are the menus. I don't think these are remotely attractive and I know that sounds ridiculous, but the Final Fantasy menus have always been like slip and slides. Even when you look at Final Fantasy XIII, like they had beautiful menus to navigate, stylish, and these are so bland, boring, and I don't know if they were trying to retain some of the PS1 value in them by making them blank and blue, but my god, man, I just don't like them at all, and I hope that someone out there reciprocates that feeling, because I just ugh, don't like them, don't like them. So that'll do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my opinion on the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. I thoroughly enjoyed my time, and I'd love to hear from all of you in the comments down below. What did you think of this demo? Fire away. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Big thank you to all of the patrons who continue to support all the content I create here, and we'll talk soon. Stay sexy, stay active. Love you all. Peace.